Good morning, everybody. We're out here again. Sorry, I thought I hit the end button. We're out here again. It's Sunday morning. It's 6 30 in the morning on a Sunday. See, the parking lot is full, and here I thought I'd have room in the morning, but uh, someone took this spot. So I don't have as much room as I'd like, but we're getting this passenger seat out, we're getting the back seats back out, and we're gonna go out and do this run. Uh, last week, we did actually hit a fuel cut. That last video, uh, doing the draggy runs. We finally found the road, but while we were there, the air dropped so much from when I was doing my data logs before that uh, we got a fuel cut. So Ed told me to mix it down a little bit, put a little bit of 93 in. I was trying to tell you guys with Cobb, this is beta testing, you know, not all the parameters are there yet. We can't play with all the fuel tables. We can't play with all, we can't do TCU stuff yet. Um, we can't even see like uh, relative manifold boost pressure. We can't see a lot of things. So um, right now we just have to blend it down. We're gonna get all these seats out, get all the weight that we can out. I'd like to take the cat back off, but as you can tell I'm in a freaking parking lot and uh, don't really have room in the room to put a whole exhaust in. So for now, we can just do the seats. Once I move into my house, which is, this is our, we only got one more Sunday after today and then we'll be in a new house. So maybe in a couple weeks, we'll be able to do all the things we wanna do. But uh, for now, this is what we got. Also, when I did my Haldex, um, probably two months ago, I never went in I did like a Haldex Prime or adaptation. So once the car is warmed up on the way to the spot, I'm gonna pull over and attempt to do that. I haven't seen anybody doing that yet with the eight Ys, which the, the Haldex is a bit different. This is the Gen 6, not the Gen 5. We can talk more about that another time, but uh, I don't even know if the option is in there. Hopefully it is and we can do it and that it helps because we were spinning like yesterday at autocross, we're spinning all four off the line. And uh, that's at 32 PSI on the tires. And even last week, I put them down to like 22 and they're still spinning off the line. So um, I'm thinking maybe the, the rears aren't engaging as quickly as they should or can. So I don't know. Let's get this seat out and see what we can do. I forgot, I wanted to stack them all together and get a picture, but seats are out, taking them in. Then we will go warm this baby up. We will try and do a hot X adaptation. I'll lower the tire pressures down. They're at 30 right now. Get them down to about 22 and see what she'll do. I'm gonna have all these dash lights and errors and hopefully it still lets me turn off traction control. Cause I, I disconnected the seat once just to see. And it was like with uh, so annoying within 30 seconds that I plugged it back in and said, F it. So we got a lot of driving today. Maybe I should bring my headphones and just do noise canceling so I don't hear it. <laughs> be a good time to vacuum. But seats are out, most of the weight's out. Um, yeah, let's fire this bad boy up. And uh, we're about to get about 100 different messages here. Let's see. Airbag. It's gonna keep doing that presense like every 30 seconds or so. Sorry, the camera cut off. Every time it connects to this, it'll see. It's gonna do it again. It's gonna keep doing it. Ugh. Let's see. Will traction go off? Traction does go off. Hopefully, uh, we should be able to do launch control then. So. Check that out. That is our best ever 891. Beat it by over point, over two thousands. That's fucking awesome. We're gonna pull over. I'm gonna send that to a couple friends because I'm fucking lit. And then we're gonna go for a dig run. Nice wide angle on my face. Not, what did it say? 891? Dude. 
That is awesome. 891. So my best before was 913. That is sick. Wow. All right. Now I just aired back down. The tire pressure actually went up like three PSI on like a two two mile drive. So just aired them back down all to 22. We're gonna flip a bitch and let's pray we get traction. I went through, like I said, an OBD 11 and did what I could. Um, Reset the valve adaptations never went through. I did prime the pump and stuff, so hopefully that helps. Here we go. Spin, spin, spin. Going uphill now. Might have to try this other spot up here. Exact same as my PB, 1118 at 124, 17860, not bad, but still spinning. Let's try it again, like right here. Traffic looks good, tire should be a little bit warmer. All right, car, come on, let's do this, let's do this. Well, boys, it was all worth it. Getting up at six this morning, having to feed my daughter and all that. She woke up because of my alarm, I guess. And then getting the seats out, getting out here. Could have got, if I would have got here a half hour earlier, I probably would have had an even better run. Well, even more than that, because I sat there for probably 30 minutes or more messing with the Haldex stuff and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we got 11 11. And the zero to 60 on that is 3.16 beating my previous best of, I think, 3.24 or 3.26. I don't know. I'll put it down here, whatever it was. But we beat it in all categories there. The eighth, uh, which is something I didn't even look. But I'm sure I beat it in the eighth. Mile an hour, quarter mile an hour, zero to 60. 60 foot is what's really freaking hurting us. I'm spinning, like I said yesterday at autocross, spinning all four off the line there. And even 20, I put it down to 20 PSI after that 11.11 and still spun, but now it's getting a lot warmer. So the, the DA jumped up by quite a bit. Um, my GoPro died, so I'm on my phone right now. I didn't get a better run after that. It like died as soon as I showed you guys that 11.11, but man, I'm stoked. Um, things are looking great. The car is running phenomenal. Um, I can't thank Ed enough at EQT. What a fucking boss, man. Um, really, they just, we have a 10 second run in this car and that was like 124.99 so basically 125 i've seen people get tens with an 11 24 trap with like i think he had like a 1.6760 so i just need like new tires or i wish i'm gonna post up today in multiple groups and ask like listen i will pay you to rent your slicks for like three four passes let me put 40 miles on them, all right? Like, I need to get this. Like, the nearest actual track is up in Dallas, and that's like four hours away, and we have dogs and a daughter, so that's like not something I can just like go do randomly, especially right now we're living in a hotel. Um, the next weekend I have guard, and that's Saturday, Sunday, so I'm not gonna be able to go out and run next weekend. The weekend after that is, we're finally moving to our freaking house, so that weekend, obviously, um, will be very busy. You know, my dad's flying down, my mom's flying down with her boyfriend. So we have all these hands involved. So I'm gonna watch the kiddo, uh, be, you know, help us move and all that. So that weekend's gonna be all, all that stuff. So we're looking basically three weeks from now till the next time I can get out and do a run. So that gives me three weeks to find some freaking slicks. I can't even buy anything right now because I don't know if you guys ever closed in a house before, but they watch all your accounts. It's all like, 
once you get into the closing process, you pretty much like can't make any big purchases, can't uh, open up any new lines of credit, anything like that. So I can't even, even if I found like a stupid nice deal on uh, tires or a wheel tire combo, I couldn't even do it right now. So. And I wouldn't be able to anyway because I'm pretty much broke. I just started my job last week. I've been off work for like two months. It's been a struggle and very stressful. <laughs> Ran out my savings and shit. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Caffeine in me. Um, yeah, again, shout out to Ed. Uh, seriously, thank you so much. Uh, just need to find some slicks. If you guys know anybody with some freaking slicks that'd be willing to help me out near San Antonio, Texas, let a brother know. I got a couple bucks. We can make a video of your car. Uh, whatever it takes. Let's do it. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think. New PB. We still have parts sitting. That intercooler sitting. Ready to go whenever I get money again. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the football.